Hello, 37 people. I am Maureen Horn and I teach eighth grade science and seventh and eighth grade aquatic studies at Sequoia Middle School. I wanted to thank you for helping me fund the project last spring called An Invitation to Marine Science. So the aquatic studies class is taken by about 150 students each year. Strangely, the class size is 37 students. Anyway, um, it's basically a second science class that students don't realize because it's low stress, um, there's no homework or tests or anything. The objective of the class is for students to practice a bunch of science skills that are very practical, like setting up and carrying out investigations. They do tons of measuring, uh, observing, sketching, calculating, things like that. Another big thing is taking care of various tanks in the classroom. So all of ours are saltwater, so they require testing and adjusting of the water chemistry and taking care of all of the sea creatures. I thought I'd show you a better view of the tank while I tell you about the project. The project and an invitation to marine science is for a store credit for marine livestock from a local aquarium shop that specializes in corals. So in this tank, all of these colorful things you see are corals. They look like rocks or plants or cactus, but they're actually animals and within their tissues live algae um, that perform photosynthesis and give them a lot of that energy. Right now, um, you see a bunch of brownish, greenish nuisance algae that does not really belong there. Um, uh, over the year, um, the tanks suffered a bit without their army of students cleaning them daily and keeping algae out. Also, um, the day after the school closed last March from the pandemic, I rehomed all of our fish, a lot of our invertebrates, and some special corals that need daily care because I didn't want to risk them dying. So that is why we need to add some more livestock. This is a special tank, ignore the algae, called our frag tank or fragment tank. A pretty remarkable thing about corals is they can be propagated in a similar way as plants. They can be divided or cut and glued on to little mounts and then grown out into bigger coral colonies. So once that happens, we can either send them to other schools in little packages or um, in our region, there's an active club of reef keepers who have aquariums in their homes. So we can trade coral frags with them. Again, I am so grateful to 37 people for supporting all of my students in their class to learn about the ocean and pick up some useful skills at the same time. So I really look forward to restocking our tanks and all the adventures it will lead to for years to come. Thank you so much.